I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look of how you can install traffic with Docker with uh, just one click. Basically we are going to use a script that will help us configure Docker and uh, traffic on our VPS server and uh, have a traffic instance with a dashboard uh, created for traffic that we can use to add our application with an Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. I've created in the past a tutorial with uh, what uh, traffic has to offer and how it can be configured manually. And uh, in here I have the article. So in here you see that I have the article with all the details that uh, we're going to, to see now and uh, with the things that the script will do. So if you want to see more in details what this script will do, you can go and check this article because it has all the things that you need to configure manually to have traffic up and running. But right now I've created this website with utilsbidos.com and in here I have created the script that will help us spin off uh, Docker and uh, traffic with just uh, one click. Basically we'll just run this uh, script and it will take uh, the necessary steps to create everything for, for us. This script uh, will only work on uh, Ubuntu and Debian uh, releases and uh, let's go and uh, see how we can uh, run this. So the first thing that you will need is to have a VPS server created where you will install Docker and uh, traffic and I'm using Hasner to have my uh, VPS servers created because uh, they are cheap and they are offering very good performances and you can use DigitalOcean or Vulture or anything that you want as a VPS server. You just need to have an Ubuntu or a Debian installation and I will add the server in here and I will choose the data center for this. I will let the Ubuntu 2404. I will choose the shared CPU and I will let the smallest shape in here just to demonstrate. I will choose the SSH key for the connectivity and I will just go and uh, create and buy this. And right now the VPS server it will be created and the next thing that we need to do is to configure a subdomain that will point to this server IP address so we can access the traffic dashboard. And in here I have Cloudflare that I have configured and I'm gonna use the bidoze.com and in here I will create a subdomain for this. I will disable the proxy and in here I will just create a traffic dash and I will put the, I'll hit save. So right now the subdomain, it will be sent to the server that we have just created. And uh, right now the server is created and uh, we need to go and connect to this server. So I will open a terminal and I will connect to the terminal and we're going to go and install the traffic with uh, Docker with the help of the script that I've created. To connect to the server, I just need to do the SSH-C with the key root user because you need to be root to install everything and the server IP address like this. I will hit yes and right now we should be log into the server and the next thing that we are going to do is to go and copy the script from here. Basically we are copy the commands like this and we are going to go and run them in here like this. And right now in here you will see that you will be prompted for a path that you will need to insert where traffic it will be installed, where the Docker Compose file will be created and in my case I will do it in opt stacks and traffic like this. I will hit enter. Right now you should uh, insert the subdomain that you've created with this and traffic dash that bidoze.com. It is the name of the subdomain that I'm going to use to access the traffic dashboard. And then it will prompt you for a username to access the traffic dashboard. I'll put the username. In my case, it will be Bidoze. And then it will prompt you for a password. I'll set the password. And right now the email address for the Let's Encrypt notification. Like this. And then it will just uh, ask you if the subdomain it is already pointing because it needs to point to the server to be able to have the certificate created. And if not, you can just hit Control-C to cancel this, but I have uh, 
done this already and then I will just hit enter and right now we're going to see how the things are installed basically this will handle the docker installation with docker compose it will go and create the folder for us it will go and create a docker compose file with the configurations we're going to check the details after it will generate the SSL certificate for us and it will generate the access details to access the traffic dashboard and this script will take about one minute to, to run it's fast and it will help us configure everything fast on the VPS server. Let's wait for this to, to finish because right now it's just installing everything that it's needed to have everything uh, up and running. Docker is installed right now and then it will move to the next things to do like a docker compose file and everything it will install the encryption utility needed for the for the traffic dashboard because the password is encrypted and right now it's pulling everything and uh, yeah right now it's checking the the logs and uh, at the end it will show you this uh, traffic dash that be does that com that has been created right now if we're going to go and check for instance docker ps you will see that you have the traffic which is the latest one 3.1 right now that it's running and if we're going to check the opt stacks traffic in here you will see that you will have the let's encrypt folder with the docker compose file and if you are going to go and cut the docker compose file to see more you will see in this area that it's added all the things that are needed you see the image is here it will result if it's not stopped it has the endpoints with https for this it has our email address for the let's encrypt it has created the network traffic net it's the name like i have in the other article it has the dashboard and the traffic dashboard credentials and right now everything uh, it's up and running and we should be able to access the traffic dashboard and start adding our applications in in here and let's go and uh, copy this and see if we have access to this and in the beginning can take like one minute or two for the certificates to be set up so let's see if this is working So right now we see that this is working and the first thing that we're going to see is to prompt to it will be prompt you to put your username on the password that you've set and my password and then I will sign in and right now you see that you have the traffic dashboard which is accessible you have the HTTP you have the root services the middleware and uh, yeah you have the 3.13 version that it's the latest one right now and you have the let's encrypt certificate that it's configured in in here and yeah it's that easy to to install it again these scripts can be used for free they are meant to be used with uh, debian releases this is the repository and in here you can find more details about them in case you have an issue you can go and uh, create an issue in in here and uh, you can even contribute to this script if you if you want and uh, yeah i hope you enjoy the video and then uh, what you can do is to go and add your application and in here in this you will have uh, the necessary things that you need to to do to configure the next application so basically if you want to add the application you just need to add the network on the applications and then you add the routers with HTTPS in here. You see the endpoint in HTTPS with let's encrypt the resolver with a port and uh, so on. And you can start deploying your application in this uh, traffic uh, configuration that has been uh, spin up with the help of uh, this script. I will let uh, some uh, videos into the description with various applications that you can install. I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you liked what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.